Hey, hello there Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. This predictive card reading covers August 24th, 25th, and 26th. Let's see what kind of energy influences are coming through for you for the weekend. Love or money? As a general reading, please only take what resonates with you. If you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel, and your every comment earns you an entry to win a free reading. Thank yous for those beautiful validations. I'm so grateful for each and every one of them. Bless you guys. Click on the description box below for more information. On with your reading, Aquarius. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere of the weekend. It's the basis of the energies. It's the background. Number two of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The High Priestess. Number two, the High Priestess. This is secret knowledge, and something hidden is preparing to come forth. You're to pay attention to your dreams and intuition. This may be a time to sit still, and someone is attempting to hide something that should be revealed. There may be a strong, wise female presence around you, or it could be you. You're to tune in to your inner voice and spiritual awareness. And there are hidden influences. It has to do with divine truth and wisdom. And there may be someone psychic around you. This card is ruled by the moon. The second card. This is the energy crossing over your path. This is what may challenge you. A new beginning. The Ace of Wands. A gift from life. The Ace of Wands. All Aces are new beginnings, seeds to be nurtured. They should be grasped and nurtured. This card stands for ignition, and it is the beginning of an enterprise. It could be in business or arts or finance. It could also be high passion in relationships and intimacy. This could be conception or birth. But be open for the new. And this is a way out of hard times. It's a spark of inspiration. This is a positive new beginning. It's full of passion and excitement and fun. So seize the day, because the answer is in the doing. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Eight of Cups, Aquarius. The Eight of Cups. You must be inspired to go on to look for new and better things because a better future is just around the corner. You're moving on. This could also indicate travel and finding a new direction. You know what you want and you won't settle for anything less. So stay the path and keep going with the flow. You do have the desire to do it better. You may be wishing for some time alone and you're ready to look for better things. Your fourth card, it's the future, it's the outcome, it's the results. Number 14 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, Temperance. Number 14, Temperance. This is moderation in all things, and a caution to have patience, which may be difficult. This is a time of peace beginning, there's adaptation and tempering and compromise instead of battle. So take the middle way, and you're going to have victory over your doubts. And this situation is going to unfold on itself, and what you have imagined will come to pass. You just have to make some adjustments. And this is a zodiac sign card for Sagittarius. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's what's unseen or underlying the issue. The Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands, Aquarius. This is the second eight in your layout, which stands for new knowledge. And this card is something that's going to be happening rapidly. There's movement and action. It could be air travel. And things are happening rapidly. It's so busy and exciting and hopeful. And positive things are unfolding. It is the end of delay. Could be messages. Or email messages. Or phone messages. 
could be letters of love. But it is approach to a goal, goal, and it's a quick resolution. Could be some surprises and new opportunities. You'll need to act quickly and multitask. You're going to get some quick results. Thank you so much, Aquarius. Please subscribe and visit me for your next weekend reading. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments box. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light.